It is a bit confusing this. I'm sweating my ass off, but for the first ever on this channel, I say welcome to the Caribbean. <laughs> I'm here with my friend Jerome. Hello. Pleasure being here fishing with you. Yeah. A new environment for you. Oh yeah, totally new. And me. <laughs> kind of new. I'm just... I have no idea what to expect. I've fished sea trout or pike and stuff in Sweden most of my life. And never done anything even close to this. So this is gonna be totally just the reaction of what it is. Yeah. They say saltwater fishing like this is quite a, quite crazy. Quite crazy. But I've never fun. tried it before. <laughs> At the moment, I just want to wade out to my waist, cool down a little bit. It's so freaking warm here. But I mean, the fish is in like like this shallow water. <laughs> it's insane. They're just you see their fins. You see their cruising and splashing it's so visual i mean look at this water i just have my normal wading boots i didn't have anything else to bring but it's so clear well i feel i have a few things going for me i mean i feel quite safe about presentation and casting that I, that i can but the rest about this i just feel so lost are you kidding that shallow that shallow <laughs> Oh yeah, I saw it. Okay, what would you bet? The first fish I cast on, how big of a chance is it that I spook it? It's big. <laughs> Should I place it right on or? I will put it a little bit this way. I think it's a box. We should put it like very close. And now if, what? If, if wait, let it sink down. Now you make a jump on the bottom. Why don't I get caught? Weed guards work. Weed guards work. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. You think for both of Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why haven't I ever used a weed guard before? <laughs> what fly are you using now? Mantis shrimp. Mantis shrimp. My favorite. There's so much fish over there. Is my drag good? A little bit harder. <laughs> a little bit harder. Yeah, a little bit harder. <laughs> okay. Three clicks more. Oh my god. So like stripping like this? Yeah, I usually strip it, let it fall down. <gasps> following you. What should I do? What should I do? Continue, continue. Go. What should I do? Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Fast, slow. What I do? You're doing good. Oh, I felt something. And then just strip set if it happens. Yeah, everything is strip set. Wow, it followed. Maybe a bad time to take a break, but <laughs> holy shit, it just followed my fly like a pike would do. And sometimes oh, I don't know the how fly crazy this is. <sighs> Should I cast? Yeah. Wow, my fly line is tangling. <gasps> shit! I spooked the fish. I Spook the fish. <laughs> he was close. <laughs> we couldn't see him. Do that move away the other fish too? When that happens? Yeah, usually it moves away the other one. Oh, nice snipe something. Okay, action is over for a little bit. Uh, I just, what I made was making a... It was a, a good cast for... <laughs> I made a decently bad, <laughs> good cast. Uh, the bonefish, but there obviously was one much closer that uh, my fly line landed close to. There was something. No? Just two rod lengths away. <sighs> but that was good. That was good. It feels awesome that there's so many chances all the time. I think that's the boxfish. Oh, yeah. I have to Google what the boxfish is. <laughs> yeah, they look very funny. So we have decided to split up now. All I managed to do was to spook some fish. <laughs> so Jerome told me to just, just wade out deeper to knee deep water and do like you used to do on Gotland. <laughs> just cast line fishing. Uh, the only difference though, he said, the only difference you should do here is watch out for stingrays. And there is one right here. I didn't even wear my Costa glasses. 
and there is a freaking stingray here. Jerome, stingray. What do I do? Don't step on it. Okay. I just calmly walk my way around this guy to remember to look other directions too. But holy, oh my Christ! There. Are they dangerous? I have no idea. Just don't step on it. <laughs> okay. You are on Gotland. You are on Gotland. Cast out. This is nice because I can get used to this line as well. It's a Merisola line, seven weight. I'm using it on the Merisola graphene rod. So this is a line that is adapted for this warm environment. And once I've got it off the reel and made a few casts, it stays quite or very tangle free, I must say. Very straight on the water too, which is important because you need that contact to set the hook of a fish. Normally it's that you cast on a fish that you see, you see it follow, and then often when you see it just stops at the fly, you try to do like a strip set. And hopefully it has taken your fly, but if it didn't take your fly when it came up to it and stopped, then you just pull it away a little bit and hopefully it will continue chasing after. Maybe <laughs> in the comments there will be be people saying like, why didn't you cast on that fish rising there? <laughs> it's because I'm too nervous stepping on a stingray. So I, I don't look at the water. Oh, I'm just so stressed out. <laughs> when you do something like this that is outside of your comfort zone, I think it's very important to do like I do now that <laughs> I talked about like telling myself what I'm good at, like I'm good at casting, I'm good at presenting, I'm able to do that. So give myself some confidence into this. It's so easy to get into doubt that, oh my God, I can't do this. This is so different from anything I've done, but try to find similarities. And <laughs> as I just, uh, as your own just told me, like pretend that fish like you do on Gotland, just <laughs> because I can't fish. I just have no idea about this. I mean, but probably it's just fine tuning what I already have done for for many years so but uh, very exciting though <laughs> now I forgot to look for stingrays for the last 25 steps <laughs> oh shit there is something oh now I got nervous again <laughs> back to reality <laughs> and this goes both ways I already feel so inspired of I mean why not if you really want to fish in a lot of vegetation for other species in Scandinavia, weed guards are not common at all. Why not? So many things you can implement this on. Even sea trout, I think. Oh. There actually was something. Could be bottom though, but what? That was so weird. I think that was a strike. Maybe my fly is gone now. It feels very light. Oh my god, something took my fly. It just bit it straight off. Oh no. So nothing happened in the evening. <laughs> but new day and new chance. Yeah. It's actually quite a quite a while ago. <laughs> I got uh, COVID during the travel to here, unfortunately. So uh, after my quarantine now, it's back to fishing. It's like forever that evening, but uh, great feeling to be out. Always when I'm out, always when I'm sick, it gets to my voice a lot. So I'm, my voice is quite subtle normally, but now it's really weak. I hope you can hear me clearly anyways, <laughs> but uh, great day to be out. It's like close to 30 degrees, sunshine. Pretty big waves outside the, the reef edge we have out here. Gonna small breeze. Yeah, Looks gonna nice. give it a go. <laughs> so good to be out again. Oh. Just 
While I'm busy talking to you, Jerome is just scouting the water, see if something is in the surface. Or if we can start to blind fishing, like I prefer to. <laughs> at the moment, still I, I believe I'm pretty bad at the sight fishing, but trying it out, giving it many days of thinking, <laughs> I hopefully can do it better now. So it's really a lot of coral here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, yeah. <laughs> feel that during the retrieve but not getting stuck at least thanks to the weed guards but... wow it's like fishing a river here it's a small island outside and a really shallow passage here i brought two seven weights just in case one breaks but i felt that the line was a little bit light for that rod and this this rod even though both are seven weights this is just slightly a bit softer and i feel i like this combination much more this uh, cheaper rod than the uh, marisola graphene but i think this is a phenomenal rod really like this one yeah yeah i'm hooked up with something what is this is it a fish? <laughs> I think it's a fish. But why isn't it doing anything? Tropical fish is so strong. Wow. <laughs> okay. Here it is. It looks very teethy. I have no idea what it is. A grouper. grouper. <laughs> never been so afraid of a fish in my life I think <laughs> but my first tropical fish and they're so beautiful this little oh! <laughs> this little fly is just in the corner of the mouth I'm gonna, just gonna release it now and let it go uh... oh. oh it's really stuck Oh, okay. I'm ge getting pro at this at some point. <laughs> First fish. <laughs> it's such a weird place. Really feels like fishing a pool in a river. <clears throat> I did not have such good contact with the fly because it's such a much a stronger current out there. Give a good bend to it. To something oh it's small I think it's small it's giving head shakes now it's starting to feel like it's maybe bigger than the other one it's <laughs> uh, is this uh, jack right oh beautiful jack Probably, oh, where is, does you ha do you have any spikes? There, look at this gorgeous little fish. Ah, there, fish number two, small jack. Okay, I hooked into something. Wow, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, 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 not to the stone, not to the stone. Ah! Fucking reef edge. Ah, don't rip my line. Ah. Uh, it's 
stuck here. Oh, it's still here. It's a bone fish. <laughs> Wait. Film this shit. <laughs> Oh, it's still here! <laughs> it must have ripped my line. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> that was a very unexpected thing to have my first bonefish like this. <laughs> I was just reeling in to go and photograph a fish for your own. <laughs> I don't know what she has in the net. What? And <laughs> oh, probably my line is just shredded now. Wow, how pretty! So beautiful. Uh, it took super soft when I was reeling in, and then just went here and pew, around here, and then just like half a meter out on the outside of the stone. Here is my very first in my life bonefish. I'm not gonna do a fish flop with it. See how beautiful they are. They're like grayling blue here on the on the body fin. Oh, <laughs> so amazing fish! Yeah. <laughs> oh, feels so good to be here. This is awesome. <laughs> Three fish in a day, all of a sudden, after being sick. I mean, can't ask for more than this. So not like I predicted in my dreams that <laughs> my first bonefish was going to be reeling in just to take a photo of my buddy. But <laughs> I did not see anything. But I had lots of strikes from this little lagoon. We're going to go out and try here again. But yeah, that was what it was to discover bonefish for the first time in my life. Such a difference what I do normally. Thanks for watching. Hopefully do more fish fishing videos here from the Caribbean. But yeah, bye for now.